Are you incurring losses due to incorrect addresses entered by customers and thus leading to undelivered packages? Are you tired of contacting customers for getting the address corrected? Google has made our lives easier by creating a lot of applications. One of them is Google Maps. Google has a place library in the Google Maps JavaScript API. With the help of this API, you can create user-specific applications like Autocomplete. The Autocomplete feature gives your application the type ahead behavior. Whenever the user starts typing an address there will be suggestions to fill the rest of it. When it comes to validating any address, address validation verifies your customer's information in real time and you can be sure that valid and deliverable address enters your database. Let us see how you can include address validation on your WooCommerce store. Elix Address Validation and Google Address Autocomplete plugin for WooCommerce helps to improve your customer service by assisting shoppers when they place orders. This plugin can also eliminate issues related to delayed deliveries due to the incorrect address. Firstly install the plugin from lextensions.com. To know more about the plugin installation, visit the link provided in the description below. Go to the license section and update the product license. Once the plugin is installed and activated, click on the settings options. The plugin has two core functionalities. The first one is the Google Address Auto Complete feature and then the Address Validation feature. Before you get started, you need to get the following API keys, get Google Autocomplete API key, get an EasyPost API key UPS username, password, and license key. USPS User ID Address Finder API These API keys are fed to these fields in the API credentials. The very first setting you need to do is, Google Autocomplete. By clicking on the Enable checkbox, you enable the Address Autocomplete on your checkout page. You get two options here. One is the Address Autocomplete checkout page, which allows Autocomplete address option in the checkout page. If not enabled, you can enter the address manually, the address validation happens if enabled the same, but the autofill will not work. The second option is the address autocomplete backend orders, upon enabling the checkbox, whenever a fresh order is created in the backend. The Google autocomplete option will be available and the addresses will populate automatically. But when disabled, these auto-populated addresses will not appear. Here you can choose to address autocomplete available to as all countries or you can also choose the option as specific countries and then choose the desired countries. Also, enter the Google API key. If you do not have Google API key, follow the link, and then obtain the Google API key. Next, we move on to address validation. With these settings, you will be able to edit or modify the address fields entered using autocomplete service. But remember, the address predictions fetched by Google may not be a valid address all the time. Hence the address should be validated. For this, you can make use of Address Validation API service from either Easy Post or UPS, USPS, Address Finder API, or even Country Specific and None. To use Easy Post service you need to have its respective Address Verification API key. You can sign up in Easy Post to receive the key. If you wish to use UPS, you should sign up for a UPS account and enter your username and password in the respective license key. If you choose EasyPost, UPS, USPS, or Address Finder API, then you see the options like Enforce Address Validation, Debug Log, Confirm Before Validation, and Confirm Using Option Settings. Let us choose EasyPost and then enable Enforce Address Validation and the Confirm Before Validation. Also, choose, confirm using checkout page message, and save the settings. Now when you check out from the store, you can see the option. Address autocomplete, optional. Here as the users enter the address Google autocomplete returns place predictions in the form of a drop-down pick list. And then you can choose the right address and then proceed checkout. If any wrong details are provided then, it gives an error message in the checkout page, that there is a problem with the address, and gives the option to choose the correct one, by providing the options of the right address. Hence without providing the right address, you cannot proceed with checkout. This is how the basic functionality of Elix Address Validation and Google Address Autocomplete plugin for WooCommerce looks like. Now let's us take a look at the plugin settings and understand it in a better way. The first thing, you need to set in the app is the API keys, it is important to ensure address validation. Validate address automatically, with address validation APIs of various services in simple steps. 
You can choose, either UPS, USPS, Easy Post and Address Finder API just sign up for the desired service, provide required credentials in the plugin and you are good to go. If you want EasyPost API, you can click here and obtain the same from EasyPost. This address validation method is recommended for most countries. UPS and USPS are popular shipping carriers in the US. You can make use of UPS for address validation in the United States and Puerto Rico. All you need to enter is the username, password, and license key. USPS is the recommended choice for the United States. You can provide the USPS user ID for the address validation. If you are located in Australia and New Zealand you can make use of the Address Finder API. You can obtain the same by clicking here. Next, go to Google Autocomplete. Enable the checkbox to enable the Google Address Autocomplete option in the checkout page. Here you get two options, one is the Address Autocomplete checkout page option. On enabling the same, the auto address is populated by Google in the checkout page, whereas on disabling the same, the addresses need to be entered manually. The next option is to address autocomplete backend orders. Here when you enable the option, whenever a new order is created in the backend, using add order in WooCommerce, the addresses in the field also get the option to auto-complete the address using the auto-populated addresses. Upon disabling the same, this has to be done manually. Now you can choose to enable address autocomplete for all countries for specific countries. The Google Autocomplete feature adds a custom text field on the checkout page in which the users can enter the shipping address. As the users enter the address Google Autocomplete returns place predictions in the form of a drop-down pick list. For this, you need to enter the Google Places API key. You can get this API key on the Google Developer site by clicking here. You can also enable the checkbox for editable address fields. When you enable the checkbox, the address fields can be editable for the user when the address autocomplete is enabled. If disabled, the address fetched from Google is selected and used. Now the next setting is the address validation. Here in the address validation field, you have few options. They are, none, easy post, UPS, USPS, address finder API, and country specific. When you choose none, then the address validation does not work. If you want to validate addresses then you can choose EasyPost, UPS, USPS, or Address Finder API by choosing here. You can also choose to go for, country-specific address. When you choose country-specific, you need to fill in countries validated by EasyPost, UPS, and USPS as well as Address Finder API. When you choose EasyPost, USPS, UPS, or Address Finder API, you get the following fields to fill in. You can choose to enforce address validation. When this option is enabled, users will not be able to proceed with checkout if address validation fails. If you are not able to get the required result, enable the debug mode. The path to the debug files is this. Here, you can analyze the request response data for possible errors. Also, check logs in WooCommerce, status, then logs. At the checkout page, when the user enters text in the autocomplete text field, address suggestions appear. Soon after selecting an address, users can choose to edit the address this way. Let's say if the user makes an error while entering the address and proceeds with the checkout. The order will be placed only when the address is validated automatically in the backend else the user has to enter the correct address to proceed with the checkout. In addition to this, you can choose to enable a pop-up window to confirm the validated address. If you have entered an address of your own or edited the existing address, a window showing the original address and the validated address will appear in which the users can choose the correct possible address. Once the desired address is confirmed, the order will be placed. For this enable confirm before validation checkbox. Confirming validated address from customers using the confirm using or proceeding with the order, you can confirm the shipping address from the customers itself. Once the plugin validates the address, the validated addresses will be shown to the customers either as an inline message in the checkout page or a custom pop-up window for confirmation. Once the customer selects the correct address, the order will be placed. You can also customize every field associated with the address validation easily on the customization page. 
You can customize the following texts for displaying on the checkout page, original address label validated address label address suggestion label place order with original address button label place an order with suggested address button label update or proceed with your original address text label customize button text in the checkout page message address validation failed custom message by providing the customized text in the box. You can also provide the label text for Google Autocomplete here and see the changes. Hence these are the basic settings that need to be done to get LX Address Validation and Google Address Autocomplete plugin for WooCommerce to work. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media channels.